Okay, so in this question, an object of mass m rests on a horizontal plane. The angle theta that the plane makes with the horizontal is slowly increased from zero. Okay, so we are increasing that angle. So when theta becomes equal to theta naught, the object begins to slide. So that becomes the limiting case of the friction. So what are the coefficient of static friction mu s and the normal reaction n of the plane at theta is equal to theta naught. Okay, fine. So my dear students, there is a, a topic which is uh, known as the angle of repose. This question is from that. The angle of repose. And as a matter of fact, the angle of repose is the angle that the inclined plane has to make so that the body just starts sliding exactly as given in your question. So basically what they want is uh, like uh, to find these conditions and theta naught is the angle of repose. This is what I want to say. So let us make this diagram. First of all, this is horizontal and this is an incline. And this is the weight. So let us say this angle is theta naught. So where is the weight that will be acting? The weight will be acting here. Now weight is a force. It will be have a, it will have two components. So first component is this, and the second component that is parallel to the inclined plane will be this. So it can be easily proved by using the geometrical uh, rules that this angle will also come out to be theta naught. This angle is equal to this angle, the angle that is made by the plane. So if you face any problem for this also, please do mention that in the comment section. I will upload another video for that. So now this angle is theta naught. This angle is also theta naught. Now we can create the components. This will become mg cos of theta naught. This will be mg sin theta naught. So these are the two components. So where will be the normal reaction? So normal reaction is normal to the surface. Normal reaction is always perpendicular to the surface on which the body is present. So this is the normal reaction. So we can always say that N is equal to mg cos theta naught. And what about mu s? So mu s, because this is the case of a limiting friction, so it will be having a friction in the back side. So this will be the maximum value of static friction or you can call it a limiting friction. So it will be mu s into the normal that is given by the surface to the body. So this has to be equal to mg sin theta because it is a limiting case. It will be approximately equal. So from that we can say mg sin theta naught is equal to mu s into n which is cos theta naught so mg cancels out with mg so mu s comes out to be equal to sin theta divided by cos theta which will be tan theta naught so d is the answer so as a matter of theory i must say that this is what we can easily remember as a part of theory itself so if you knew this theory we could have uh, take the answer without even solving anything because this is the part of theory. So if you want to remember this, the results, you want to uh, cram this thing like mu s is equal to tan theta, it is always going to be this, like it, is, it will never change its value. So we are very safe if we remember these formulas even. All the best. Bye.